All right, well, we just finished throwing together the 2022 Triban or Decathlon Triban RC500 road bike. And this is going to be my first ride and impressions on this very bike. The very first thing I noticed right off the bat is just how comfortable the saddle is. It's a very nice, comfortable saddle. The bars are pretty good, other than this little mishap when I was unboxing it. Shifting seems pretty darn dialed right out of the box too. But yeah, first ride, first impressions just came in today we just finished assembling it maybe 40 45 minutes ago so this is indeed a first ride and first impressions of the bike now weight wise oh this is much more heavier than my uh, Canyon Endura a7 RB with the rim brakes the Canyon has the rim brakes. It's much, much more heavier. Of course, this bike also comes in at a fraction of the cost. Yeah, not a bad bike. Shifting, like I said, is pretty darn dialed right out of the box. Braking, stopping power seems pretty good on the bike. I think we've got 160 mil rotors in the front and in the rear. We've got an 11 to 34 rear cassette and up front we got a 34 to 50 front chain ring. I like the bars, feel good, they feel just right. I think we're gonna go wrap around Bloomington Road. So we're gonna head north. Yeah, shifting is pretty darn dialed right out of the box. It's not a bad bike at all. For this price, you get a full Shimano Sora group set, but the rear cassette is a micro shift. A micro shift 11 to 32 in the rear or 11 to 34 I'll put it in the video I'll confirm that size wise I'm roughly 5 foot 8 and I opted for a size medium the geo the geometry seems perfect for my height Seems real nice, size-wise. I really like the saddle. The second I sat on this, I said to myself, oh, that's a pretty darn nice saddle. Yes, Good, great shifting. I like the bars. It's a little bit on the heavier side of things. I think they say 
without pedals on Decathlon's website is roughly 23-ish pounds. I think it's closer to 25, maybe 26 pounds, but that's okay. Because we are, of course, running disc brakes front and rear, mechanical disc brakes. And it, it looks really nice. We're gonna pull over in a sec. And I'm gonna show you the bike itself. It's a very nice looking bike. Beautiful shifting, Shimano Sora. Right out of the box. Seems dialed. Dialed right in, folks. So we're going to pull into this golf course here. We're going to have an alternate look at the bike. So here's an alternate look at the bike. Like I said, brand new, just got it out of the box less than an hour ago, so she is looking mighty fresh. Fresher than a daisy, folks. With the exception of, uh, yeah, that's really kind of, that's ticking me off. I pull it out of the box, I undo the tape, and the bark tape comes along with it, so maybe I'll try contacting Decathlon for that. That's not too happy about that. Other than that, bike seems very nice, very, very dialed out of the box. Alright, back onto the road. You know what, let's run through the gears real quick. So that's the tiny guy up front. Alright, so this is Granny's setup. Small chain ring up front, first gear in the back. Second gear. Third gear. Fourth gear. Fifth gear. Sixth gear. Seven, eight, nine. Front chain ring is going into the big guy. All right, we're gonna, we're not gonna go up this hill on these gears. All right, so that was a quick run through of going through the gears. A little bit of a climb here, a gradual uphill. Climb's pretty good, even though that's not much of a climb. It's more of an incline, but gets the job done. Pretty good bike, pretty good. Ride quality, 
I give it, what, a four out of five? Maybe, maybe a five. The bars are not the comfiest. This part right here. I mean, they're all right, but they're not the greatest. It shifts real nicely. You know, you got that reliable Shimano Sora group set shifters. Bike is just on a little bit on the heavier end of things. It's a bit of a heavier bike. But it looks really, really nice. It's a very nice looking bike. I like it. Can't wait to really put the miles on this bad boy. I like it, folks. We're going to do one of these. And one of these. So, I think I'm going to give the bike a four and a half stars out of five. It's a good bike. You can definitely, for me at least, from riding my Canyon Endura Ace rim brake bike, and then hopping onto this guy, you can definitely feel the weight difference. Bike is much heavier, at least six or seven pounds heavier. Other than that, if you're not much of a weight weenie, this should be a great road bike for you. Really should. You got a great group set, you got good stopping power for the brakes, and it really is. It's a very nice looking bike. Very nice looking. Perfect size. Perfect size. Like I said, I'm roughly five foot eight. And this is a size medium. And it's just the G the geometry. The geo on this bike is phenomenal. It really is nice. We're gonna take a little side street. It is a cold day today, folks. Just a few days ago, it was like 30 degrees Celsius. Now it's like barely 13. Ontario, Canada weather. And that's something to be proud of. That's for sure. Okay, this road is definitely a little bumpy. We'll find a place to uh, get off the bike and wrap up this 
first ride overview and or first ride impressions. Beautiful little robin. I think we can find a spot here in this park to wrap up our first ride on this puppy. All right, so let's wrap up our first ride and first impressions here on the 2022 Decathlon Triban RC500 road bike in a size medium and in the beautiful gray colorway. Let's start off with the ride characteristics and the ride quality. On the open road, the bike felt really nice. It handled well. It can climb. It can descend. It shifts beautifully too with these Shimano Sora group set here. And we got the micro shift rear cassette. I would have liked to have seen a full complete Shimano Sora cassette also included, but I don't even know if Shimano Sora makes a as dedicated rear cassette. I'll have to read into that. I'm sure they do. I mean, they're Shimano. But yeah, like the first thing you notice is just how nice the bike looks. We've got a very subtle Tri-Band logo right there. Very, very subtle. The saddle is the B-Twin ErgoFit system. Beautiful, beautiful saddle. I felt, I felt good sitting on this thing here. Great saddle. Amazing shifting. You know, I don't, I really don't have anything bad to say about the bike itself. Let's say it's around 25, 25 and a half ish pounds. Um, but if you can see past the weight, if you can get past the weight, this is a phenomenal road bike, folks. I mean, just look at it. It is a beauty. I can just sit here and just stare at this thing all day long. It really is a nice looking bike, folks. We do, of course, have the, what kind are these, Tektro? No. But we do have mechanical disc brakes. They're not hydraulic. But I didn't have any issues with these mechanical disc brakes. They got plenty of stopping power to bring my butt to a halt. Yeah, there it is. The 2022 Decathlon Tri-Bend RC500 road bike. The one and only thing that I'm a little bit ticked off about is this bar tape right here, folks. It's, it's definitely on the cheaper side of things. When I was unwrapping it, there's a little piece of masking tape. I undid that and the bar tape came along with it. So it is what it is. I'm either going to have to live with that or bring it right to Decathlon. Get them maybe to rewrap that or something. I don't know. But yeah, great bike. Great bike. I'm going to give it a four and a half out of five stars, folks. Two thumbs up. She is a beauty. Thanks for watching, folks. Drop a comment down below. If you have any questions, comments, leave them in the comment section. I'll do my very best to get back to them. Till next time. Okay, so earlier, folks, in the video, I mentioned I gave this a 4.5 stars out of 5. I'm going to switch it to a full, complete 5 out of 5. Earlier when I was pedaling with every, with every single crank, that little thing there was just lightly rubbing on top of or beside the cranks. So I gently bent that down, 
give everything a nice little wipe. We're mint. And the thing that surprised me most about this bike, the Decathlon Tri-Band RC500. When I saw it on the bot stamped on the bottom of the frame, I had to look twice. I couldn't really believe it. This bike is made in freaking Portugal. So that right there is that really made my day that much more better. Having said that now, I cannot wait to take this more on a much longer ride, 100 plus kilometers. It's May 2 for a long weekend coming up. Let's hope we're going to have some good, half decent weather here in Ontario. Made in Portugal, the RC500. My goodness. Couldn't believe it. I fixed a little taking coming around the crank. Five out of five for me, folks. Till next time.